Hey, this is James, the non-professional, back with another episode of Draw, Draw, Draw. And uh, we're doing Frank and Weenie today. I know he's not a real, I guess, well-known character, but his movie did just uh, come out on Disney+, Plus, and my kids watched it like a hundred times. It's, it's a, it's a freaking awesome movie. You know, it's, it's a typical Tim Burton, uh, Tim Burton joint where it's just creepy and weird, but it's not as scary or as frightening to kids as say Monster House done by, you know, Spielberg and I think it was Robert Zemeckis. Uh, but it is a fairly creepy film, you know, uh, typical of, uh, Tim Burton's, you know, style of movies. We're in the roughs now. Uh, just like I said to you kiddos before, keep your lines really, really loose. Just uh, throw a bunch of lines up on the stage and try to get a good idea of what you want your picture to look like before you actually start throwing up more definitive lines. Like now. So we are in the line stage and uh, we want to keep our pencils uh, pretty tight. And uh, we want to pin down more a more definitive idea of what the final picture is going to look like. For those who haven't seen the movie, uh, Frank and Weenie is the star of the show, or Sparky. Sparky's his actual name uh, before he became this Frankenstein wiener dog. But anyways, he's the star of the show. Uh, they have a lot of interesting characters on the show, typical of most Tim Burton films. Just a bevy, a uh, whole cast of interesting, weird, creepy, you know, just fascinating characters. But he does... He does take the spotlight when he is on screen. Uh, it's because his character is, it's funny. He's, it's a, it's a dog that doesn't know that it's dead or he, Sparky doesn't know that he's dead and he's going about the town doing his typical dog things, you know, you know, communicating with the neighbor dog that he likes and, you know, digging through trash and just, you know, going through the park and just sniffing at things and all the, in the meantime, he's, his body is sort of falling apart because he's dead. He's a zombie dog. Uh, but anyways, it's an it's interesting film and it's a lot of fun to watch. So you should, you should really check it out. I mean, I guess he's not really a zombie dog because he's actually brought back to life. Um, but he's, his body is just, I mean, it's decaying or barely put together are put together by dead parts, actually, you know. Uh, so he has the same mind of a normal dog, just, you know, the body of a of a dead person, I guess, you know. <laughs> so not like a zombie, really. So we are in the ink stage. we actually been in it for a while. Just keep rambling. But anyways, keep your lines super tight because uh, this is the last stage before we go to colors. And uh, we need to know where to put those colors down. One of the cool aspects of the movie itself is that Victor Frankenstein, this is, for those of you who don't know, it's an origin story of where, you know, Victor Frankenstein came up with the idea to reanimate a dead thing. You know, he reanimates his dog, and as he grows up, I guess, he ends up trying to reanimate a human being. But anyways, his other hobby is filmmaking. So you get these old school, you know, amateur films that he does. And they're really cool. It's like a it's like a kid making a film, and then actually, it's very competent for you know a child, uh, especially in that age, or I guess the time period that he's living in in that movie with the, you know, technology that he had back in those days. He actually did a pretty decent job, and they actually have other films if you just keep watching the credits or whatever, or the shorts. That's what it is. They have the shorts, additional content that's on Disney Plus. So it may not look like we're in colors, but we are actually in colors because if you ever watch the film, it's a black and white film. It was intended to be nostalgic of the original, I guess, or an earlier version of the Frankenstein movie. And uh, that's, I guess, just Tim Burton was inspired by that. So anyways, I'm changing his uh, his stitches to a pure black because I went back and looked at uh, Sparky and uh, his, pictures, his, his stitches were completely black. And I know that you guys probably don't have, you know, if you're just using regular pencil and paper, you probably don't have the ability to do, you know, gradient backgrounds like you're seeing here. But the picture just didn't look right because, like I said, it was just a black and white picture. And it didn't look right without a background. So I went ahead and threw a background in there. And, uh, of course, there's a little electrical plugs there. The necessary means by which young Victor Frankenstein uh, brought his best friend back to life. All right, and the last thing we're probably going to do is uh, put the little dark around the eyes. 
because you know dead animals have dark around the eyes all right that should just about wrap it up always remember your three p's persistence patience perseverance that's how you grow Hey guys, if you like my content, please like or comment below. And if you want regular updates, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.